Season 10 of Overwatch 2 recently released with some solid changes and improvements in mind. The problem is that there seems to be more issues than solutions. We're about half a month into the new season and a recent bug has popped up. At least that's what players are calling it anyways. Over the past couple of days, there has been a dramatic spike in players reporting that their competitive matches are simply filled with bots. Some players shared screenshots of what they believe is an all bot lobby, while others caught just a couple at a time. Of course, nobody's really able to tell without a shadow of a doubt that these accounts are bots, it's just a heavy expectation that they are. The only other possible solution is that the game is still riddled with players who are intentionally losing matches for no apparent reason. That's been an issue for years in Overwatch and other competitive games, and unfortunately, there is just no way to really fix that issue forever. It doesn't matter what barriers or punishments you put in place, competitive games like Overwatch will always have players that want to lose on purpose. The hope is that this isn't what's happening here, but honestly, it might be the best case scenario for Overwatch and Blizzard. If people started to find out that Overwatch competitive lobbies were riddled with bots, then we might be witnessing the end of the game as we know it. Before we go any deeper though, let me take a moment to bring back that image that was shared on the Overwatch Reddit page. Now, to me, it feels like there has to be bots included in this game. I have seen players utilize that same original player icon before, but it seems like it's too much of a coincidence that everybody is using it except for the one person who took the screenshot. Not to mention that most of the names appear to be horribly AI generated, like it's something that Xbox or PlayStation threw at you when you didn't know what to name yourself. From what I've heard though, the players that look like this in competitive games act and move around like bots. The downside is that, again, there's just no confirmation on whether or not they are unless it comes directly from Blizzard themselves. However, I would like to point out that Blizzard and Overwatch in particular have been hit with lies before. In the past, we have seen players manufacture or edit images to paint Overwatch in a bad light, simply due to many people disliking them already and wanting to just get some popularity off of it. Personally, I don't think this is a fake story. I don't think these screenshots are manufactured. But all I'm saying is to just keep that in mind moving forward because right now, nothing is confirmed. I know one of the biggest problems Overwatch faced a couple months ago was that they released a survey to players and some people were taking those surveys and photoshopping them to ask different questions or something to that effect and Overwatch devs had to actually come out and be like, hey, that's not what was on there. This is fake. Do not listen to this. But so many people disliked them to begin with that it caught on pretty quick and gained some popularity. I really hope that this isn't what's happening here, but to be honest with you, whether it's real or not, Overwatch has an issue on their hands. I don't like that this is something that's happened before. Dating back to October of 2023, there were tons of reports from players that stated bots had infiltrated their competitive lobbies and were throwing games. Those reports claimed that they were linked to new accounts, seemingly getting past any safeguard that was put in place to stop players from creating a million smurf accounts. Somewhat unsurprisingly, these reports also came at the beginning of Season 7, which makes that two different seasons now, both right at the beginning, where the same problem has appeared with bots infiltrating games. On one hand, we could have Blizzard openly placing bots in games at the beginning of Seasons to get people into matches quicker. On the other hand, we have the possibility of players buying new accounts, intentionally losing games, and selling those accounts off to better players so they could dominate. Each of these seems very plausible, given the lack of information we currently have. Hey, quick sidebar here. I was just editing this video and I found another story that relates to the bots being in the game. It was an incident that happened where hackers would take control of five different accounts and just use all of them in a competitive game. It was a process that they were likely using to try and just de-rank as many accounts as possible at the exact same time so that they could sell them all for maximum profit in like the shortest amount of time possible. But for the other team, it definitely looked like bots and the names were really suspicious and didn't have like any skins to them. So there could just be an influx in hackers that are causing these all bot games to be like that. The only question that this doesn't really answer though is how they'd be able to get on both teams. I don't really think a hacker can control players on both teams regardless if they have all the accounts or not. Otherwise it's just, you could just get a 10 man lobby of people doing nothing and the game would last forever. Which makes me think that there are actual bots being placed in games. But to really drive home the fact that it could be a hacker and not a bot, I have a video that somebody shared on the Overwatch Reddit page of a literal competitive like plat to diamond type match of just five very obvious bots just walking out of spawn and then stopping. It could very easily just be one person trying to like manipulate through all of the accounts to try and get to each character and move them so they don't get kicked keep them AFK enough so that they die a little bit and then lose the game. 
I don't know, this whole thing is just so fascinating to me because this is like the last game I would expect bots in competitive because this doesn't really feel like a game where you would put bots in these types of lobbies like how Fortnite did it. Maybe I'm completely wrong though, maybe this is the exact type of game where you would do that stuff now that I'm actually thinking about it. Anyways, just check out this clip. I really wanted to throw this little tidbit in here because I thought it was fascinating that hackers could add multiple accounts and kind of control them all at the same time, which makes it seem like it's bots. I don't know, just something to think about. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll let the video continue to play now. There is no question that we'll get some more information on this matter sometime soon, whether it's from Blizzard themselves or from more players reporting similar issues. It is disappointing that Overwatch continues to find itself in different hot topics though. Not long ago, they started to heavily enforce new rules and restrictions to keep toxicity out of the game and to stop players from throwing or leaving matches. One change that was implemented saw the game place 30 levels of competitive progression, which helped get you currency for golden or jade weapons, and all you had to do was play competitive. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Players would get bonus points for completing all of the levels, and the intention from the devs was to try and get players to quote unquote try their best. While I can already see how that wouldn't work for people who were throwing matches in the first place, some players were reporting that they weren't even progressing that bar at all, even when they were playing the ranked competitive matches. So not only is it not a great reason for people to try their best, it's also not actually rewarding the people who are trying their best. Oh, and don't worry about toxicity. Toxicity is certainly being weaved out entirely, along with the rest of the player base though. Players were reportedly frustrated because the game was starting to ban accounts by mistake. I mean, before I even continue into this, I must say that this game is just peaking at the right time. Some players were getting banned for even the simplest of words that were getting flagged by the game itself. There were a ton, and I mean a ton, of reports being thrown in like, hey, why did my account get banned? I didn't say anything wrong. Why did my account get banned? I didn't say this, I didn't say that. Like, it's happened a lot. I understand trying to fight toxicity, but you can't ban every word. It doesn't work like that, or you're gonna have to just completely remove text chat. But it's not even just that. These banning issues also stem from players throwing or leaving matches. The developers want to cut it out of the game as much as possible, so the penalties for doing these things have heightened dramatically. Whether it's the smallest bit of toxicity, whether it's throwing a match, whether it's leaving a match, they're all graded like the exact same nowadays, and they're all, they're all it's pretty high up, the punishments. Some people reported that their accounts were banned despite playing the game without even leaving a single match. It's anticipated to be a system glitch, though it's alarming to say the least. Somebody named Winkle1 wrote on a Blizzard forum not long ago that they and their friends were banned from competitive play due to quote unquote leaving matches when none of them had. This caused other players to speak their minds on the matter and apparently this has happened a lot. Other players who simply don't agree with the heavy punishments also chimed in and brought up how a technical error could force you to leave a game for unforeseen reasons, only to get you completely banned for a lengthy amount of time in response. As someone who's had their computer shut off on them multiple times without any warning whatsoever in the past, this becomes a very big problem, and something that you cannot avoid no matter how hard you try. It just always seems to be something with Overwatch these days, and at first, I thought it was just outrage because they made an Overwatch 2 in the first place and people were lashing out, but now the problems are just starting to stack up very rapidly and they've been stacking up for 10 seasons now. I will say though that Blizzard did respond to accounts being randomly banned for leaving matches. A, a developer came out and said that they are actively investigating these claims, but that they do not want affected players to submit individual appeals because they are hoping to fix the issue for everybody simultaneously. The first time I read this it didn't make much sense to me because they're literally asking players who are getting their accounts banned to not individually appeal because they want to fix it. I I'm sorry but if my account gets banned I'm sending an appeal in regardless because I want my account to be unbanned. I don't really know what they meant with that line. But yeah, anyway, to wrap this video up, I, I must say that Overwatch Season 10 has just not gotten off to a hot start. The game is making some big swings to spice up gameplay and keep things fresh, which to be honest they've done so far. For me personally, I've actually kind of liked the big swings that they've taken, such as making the hitboxes bigger, allowing you to get old mythic skins by completing new battle passes, like, there's things like that that seem to be benefiting the game in the long run. The problem is that they just keep, there's other things that are holding them back. The downside is the technical issues, the leaving penalties, 
and apparent bot stuffing that is starting to take away from the progress that they're trying to make within the gameplay itself. Anyways, that's really what I wanted to talk about today because I just couldn't believe that bots were running rampant in Overwatch again, especially after this was such a big thing in Season 7. Leave a like if you enjoyed though, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will talk to you all later.